What is going on guys, my name is John back in from Mona Reeves here with another episode of Reaction to Bartender Glass of God, episode 6, The True Face. I want to apologize for being a bit of a, a day late. I have been absolutely exhausted the last couple days. I'm, and today is no different, but I want to at least get something up to you guys. So whether or not I'm going to be able to get to Konosuba, I don't know. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. Otherwise, today. But yeah, I have been absolutely just mentally exhausted. Just a lot of stuff going on. Not going to bore you with the details, but I've been just so tired. Basically, I get home from work and I knock right out. Uh, even with some coffee in me, I'm like on the verge of like knocking out. Um, but I should be fine. I should be fine. I'm not horrible right now. So I decided to go re record. But yeah, do apologize. Hopefully it's just a small funk that I'm in. Um, and then hopefully we can get past this hurdle and then I can be back on back on the ground but yeah i'm ready to jump into this episode last episode we got uh to talk about the yamazaka the yamazaki prefecture and their uh style of japanese whiskey which again if you're a big whiskey guy and you've never tried japanese whiskey try it or heck if you want something smooth go for a 50 60 70 dollar bottle if you don't mind splurging a little bit you'll get some good ones but yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode of reaction, so without further ado, let's jump into episode 6 of Bartender Glass of God starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Oh, the trip? Something's on her mind, so she needs to go to the bar. In a ranged marriage? <laughs> Even the bar guy is... Hey, she's pretty hot. Please. Mm. <laughs> hey, you getting a discount? Skip an intro as usual. I'm telling you, girls in business suits with short hair. I'll take the fall. It's how it should be, fucker. Piss off. Flask. Oh. Yeah, a different vice. Although, yeah. Ooh. I haven't had real I haven't had a lot of food lately. So don't show me food. Show me alcohol. I'm fine with like not looking at alcohol. Oh, is he like hesitantly like or instinctively reaching into his jacket pocket to grab his smokes, but realizing it's not there? I 
Oh. Me neither. Ooh, oh, good. Give me more. Give me more information. Girls smoking a cigar. So it's vermouth. Not wrong. There's a reason why cigars and whiskey. Interesting. I want to see more about that resolution. I know we're going to, but is it going to go back? I mean, he was even clenching his fist behind the bar. So, I'm trying to figure out... So, cigars go great with whiskey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. It's really true. Yeah. It was in memory. I hadn't seen her. Is it going to like search her? Yeah. First, meet, let me meet the guy. Who's the guy? It's 
So the glass of God is really just it. Cavassier. Kv Of course, Townsend's would be very happy. I that looks delicious and never had it, but that sounds really good. I've had Cavassier, I've had chocolate liqueur, I've had cream, never all together. That sounds delicious. That would be my only problem, is it might be too sweet for my palate, but... Is it an arranged marriage? I mean, that is very outdated, but... Ooh, can we... So I got to see a quick note of it. It looked like there was a vermouth and something else. I'm waiting for her. He knows. He knows. He's gonna go every single night to see her. To apologize. Ten o'clock? Cubans. I've had a puff of. I've had two puffs of a Cuban. It was for um. It wasn't for a child being born, but it was. Oh, I've seen the. I've heard of those. Yes. They actually. Sorry, another deviation. They actually sell singles of that cigar. It's expensive. I think it's like twelve bucks for a single cigar. Uh, that I had seen. But um, no, uh, I had a, I had two puffs from a cigar, a Cuban cigar, during my brother's friend's wedding. You can just slide it. I mean, to be fair, you're not in, you're not. If you've never smoked a cigar and I found this out the hard way, you never inhale the smoke. I don't like I don't like cigarettes because I hate that burn. Some people do. Some people like that burn. I mean, you're supposed to puff and then blow. By the way, though, cigar boxes smell 
phenomenal. You, it's a great smell. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. Yeah. There's got to be some, there's something more. I mean, yeah, we got a few minutes. Tell me your problems. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how he gets that streak of the nutmeg. I mean, you could, you could just use a stir stick and me. Is she married? <sighs> it's not a good reason. Gotta love the person. It's an ambiance. After I just paid for your meal.
I know you can. You can probably be clarifying. <laughs> Oh, they're there again? This is fucking cute. God, like I, you know how fucking nice that sounds to go on a date and just sit and drink and talk. Oh, well, shit. All right, this is just a really feel good episode. Really feel good episode. I I didn't expect to be smiling as much as I was, um, despite a lot of the topics were topics that I know personally. But I didn't expect to be smiling as much as I did. It was the very bittersweet, don't get me wrong, but it was also very feel good. And I enjoyed that. Um I really don't know what to say. Like I, I am pleasantly surprised by this show. And I think it's the, the feel good show that I really needed. Kona Soup is not that feel good, it's the comedy. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But this is the show that I need to really just relax and have a good time. Sure, there's moments of drama, but it usually gets resolved. Is this the most convoluted story? Absolutely not. It doesn't need to be. It does exactly what it's supposed to. It talks a little bit about cocktails. I wish they talked about it more. That's the only thing I wish they would have talked more about. Um, just in general. But... It's about a bartender who just reads people. And it's just a feel-good show. Thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I do apologize for not talking too much, but I was actually really engrossed in this episode. Um, I don't. I have to go to bed here in a little bit. I'm going to go see if I can knock out the Konosuba. We'll see. I'm going to go upload this first, and we'll go from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, as always. And I'll see you guys on Saturday for Kaiju number eight. Maybe a little bit late on that one. I have a hangout that I'm going to. So just depending on the timing. We'll see what happens because I have work, hangout, show. It's kind of muddled, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.